Hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to program Node MCU using Arduino IDE software and how to troubleshoot this common error when uploading code into Node MCU. Guys, this is Node MCU, a tiny but powerful development board with built-in Wi-Fi and based on ESP8266 chip. It's perfect for smart home automation, remote sensor monitoring and everything we can do for IoT related. This board costs around 400 rupees in online websites like Amazon. Now I will show you how to program this Node MCU. Open Arduino IDE software in the system. If it is not installed then follow the link given in the description for installation of Arduino IDE software. Once it is opened, maximize the tab. First check the port option under tools menu. If the port option is disabled, it means that no microcontroller device is connected to the computer. Let's connect the node MCU to the system using this micro USB cable. Now check the port option again. Here we can see the port option is enabled and showing options to select. So Node MCU board is connected to the system properly. The next step is we should select the correct board name as Node MCU under board option. But here the options are showing only related to Arduino boards and there is nothing related to ESP8266 Node MCU boards. So, we need to manually install ESP8266 based microcontroller boards from Boards Manager. Type ESP8266 here. As we can see, there is no results are showing related to ESP8266. To get the proper result, just go to File and click on Preferences option. In the additional Boards Manager URLs, copy paste the link given in the description. Click on OK. Here we can see that it is downloading some data related to ESP8266 boards. Now we can see the results in Boards Manager for ESP8266 boards. Then click on Install. It will take some time to download and install the boards based on ESP8266 chip. Once installation is done, it will show this successful message. Now go to tools and check the type of boards we have. We can see here it is showing ESP8266. Click on it and it will show list of devices based on ESP8266 chip. Currently we are using Node MCU so scroll down a little bit and select our Node MCU board. If you want to clear this output tab just click on this icon. Now we are ready to upload the code into Node MCU. Let's try to upload a simple blink sketch which blinks the built-in LED of Node MCU for every one second. Before uploading the code, make sure you have selected the correct board name and port number. Now click on this upload button. Then it will start compiling the code. It means that if there is any errors in the code, it will show the error details in output console. If there is no errors in the code, then it will proceed to upload the code. Here we can see it is showing some error called failure to connect ESP266 timeout waiting for packet header. To resolve this issue, on Node MCU board, press and hold the flash button and click on reset button and finally leave the flash button. Now try to upload the code again. Here we can see the code is uploading into Node MCU. Once code is uploaded successfully, then console will show like this. If you think that the code is not running on Node MCU even after successfully uploaded, then click on reset button. Now we can see the onboard LED of Node MCU is blinking for every one second. And that's it. You can now program your Node MCU in different ways based on whatever your project needs.